Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukar HaKurash. Double honors to the men at GMS, starting with the apostles and elders on down. They taught me this word. Peace, honor, and respect to the brothers out there laboring, edifying, rightly dividing the word, and truth and sincerity. Shalom to you believers out there at the Aki and Wathia. So yeah, what I want to get into right now is basically to, um, we are really commanded to watch, okay, <laughs> and really be sober and watch, all right, just like the first scripture, what do it, I got queued up, first Peter, first Peter 5 and 8, what do it say, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, and that's, that's real, you know, but you notice the words say, be sober, okay? And matter of fact, let's go into that word. Strong's G, 3525. Nafo. Nafo. All right. And what do it say? To be sober, to be calm and collected in the spirit. All right. To be temperate this passionate circumspect all right and when you go down here and follow a manner and say be sober and watch okay we are commanded to watch all right because in this world you know particularly especially over here at, in america babylon the great okay you have all these distractions distractions as far as like social social media and tv uh might be a job okay you know, or lack thereof of a job, okay? Uh, your fine, which run into your finances. I mean, you got you know your family drama, friends, spouse, okay, kids, which can tie in with family, all right. And I'm not saying don't attend to your family or work or things of that nature, but at the same time, everything is a balance, all right. And we are not to fall asleep being too entangled in the world, okay? When you go to uh, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, all right, starting at one, what do it say? But of the times and the seasons, brethren, all right, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they should say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, okay, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are children, ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And again, there's that word sober again, as well as watch. OK, because that's what's commanded of us. All right. Because in verse three, it says what peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. And we know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is does things all of a sudden. OK, <laughs> you know, all of a sudden. You had the pestilence that came and shook the world. All right. All of a sudden, you had this thing going on with uh, Ukraine and Russia. All right. So that's why we commanded to what? Not sleep as others do. All right. Why are we the children of light? Because we have the purest. Uh, we have been, ta been taught and still learning this, uh, this word in its purest form. That's why we're illuminated on the right hand side. OK, and we're commanded to what to watch, watch what for the prophecies. All right. Which right now is jumping off the pages. If you are watching and being sober. OK, you know, like I said, again, you have pestilences. Now you got the monkey business popping up. You have uh, the uproars in the people. You have the earthquakes in diverse places. You have what they contribute to climate change, the weather, doing all different type of things. All right. 
You got all of these things going on, not to mention uh, the wars and rumors of wars. Okay. And creeping up, you have what? The famine, the famine. Okay. And the MOTB. <laughs> all right. So this is why we are to watch to be sober as well as watch by self-analyzing ourselves in the spirit, you know, being aware of, you know, taking in what we're doing, our moves, all right, keeping our head on the swivel, watching our surroundings, okay, watching the people we around, okay, these are things that we are commanded to watch, okay, because what did our Lord tell us? Our Lord told us what? To hold fast, all right? When you go to Matthew 24, um, in 42, what did it say? Watch therefore, for ye know now what hour your Lord doeth come. But know this, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, all right? Again, therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man cometh. And that's where it goes back to suddenly. OK, that's why when you go when you in uh, first Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, what did it say? Let us not sleep as others do, because all of a sudden to them. All right. The son of man going to come. But for us. OK, that's watching, being sober. All right. Holding fast to this doctrine. OK, we are somewhat anticipating, even though we don't know that hour. OK. And we are to hold fast, hold fast to what this word. OK, knowledge and wisdom should be the stability of our times. OK, what do it say in Proverbs chapter four? All right. Second verse, it says, for I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. All right. And that's not only talking about the 613 laws, what is coined as the Mosaic law is talking about this book in its entirety. All right. We are to hold fast to this. All right. To this word, because this word is what's going to uh, contribute to our be, us being preserved. OK. And it's going to contribute into, like I said, analyzing ourselves in the spirit, you know, uh, in deed, in thought, in word, okay, and it's teaching you how to um, better uh, act, have that chance at salvation. Even though everything is predestined, this word is basically the insight, okay, to the mysteries, okay, to the prophecies, as well as how to act, okay. <laughs> it's instruction booklet, instruction booklet, all right. And this is what we basically have been commanded. Okay. When you go to Ephesians, the sixth chapter. All right. And I'm going to start at the 10 verse. What do it say? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high. <laughs> How you do that? Well, let me read on. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. Going back to first Peter five and eight verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. And that's true. It's a spiritual war. All right. Verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shy with the preparation of the gospel of peace. OK, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. Let me read that again. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. Right. And that's the sword that we need. All right. Verse 18. 
praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. All right. Because that's like our umbilical to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Continuing on and watching. Okay. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. All right. So I just wanted to bring this out, Lord willing, it was edifying to the next lesson. Shalom.